Seven minutes in TV, you know the drill. Oops. <laughs> I forgot they had that. You know the three, three fantabulous stories, seven fleeting minutes, one fastidious host. First up, the comment that will likely earn her a full of the week and a fast seven back to back. <laughs> DNC chairwoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz may have crossed the outrage line when she compared Governor Scott Walker to a man who delivers domestic violence to his wife. Scott Walker has given women the back of his hand. Mm -hmm. And there is no, I, I know that is stark, I know that is uh, direct, but that is reality. Republican Tea Party extremists like Scott Walker are doing is they're grabbing us by the hair and pulling us back. Mm -hmm. And it's unacceptable. And it's not going to happen on our watch. All right, Ann, I, I, she, she tried to walk that back a little bit later making some comments, but they're really trying to perpetuate this Republican war on women, aren't they? Yeah, these comments are vile. And not only are they vile, they are untrue, but it tells me that Democrats are petrified of somebody like Scott Walker, petrified because he is in a very loving marriage, which is why these are untrue. And, and he's been very good to women in Wisconsin, but he's turned the economy around. And what he did with unions is remarkable. So they need to kill him off quick before he becomes a bigger rising star in the Republican Party. That being said, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, those comments, she's an insult to all women. And I want to apologize on behalf of women for her comments because she's an embarrassment to our gender. And in fact, I wish she were a man. I'm so embarrassed by her comments. About hang on, hang on, please allow me to get the ladies first. Please. Dana. Um, this news popped around 4 o'clock yesterday. We talked about it on the 5 quickly. And I made me think overnight about domestic violence is either a serious issue or is not. To me, it is. And I think making a mockery of it with a metaphor like that, especially for a governor who has done significant amount of work on domestic violence yeah. shelters in the state. Uh, it does make you wonder where her self-respect is. But I would also, if I was a reporter, I would be asking the White House if they are comfortable with the leader of the Democratic Party, the DNC, the president's hand-chosen person, if they are comfortable with that kind of rhetoric. Uh, first of all, I'm, I'm sh shaking my boots over Scott Walker, but uh, I didn't hear her mention, uh, you said it in your open, both of you guys have said it. Have I heard you, she say domestic violence once? That's what uh, she's referring to. Back, no. back, what, what, what was she referring to? Fifty hand. shades what, of gray? What is what, the back, back of your hand? hand. <laughs> back of the hand, yeah. By the hair. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What, what, how, what do you describe that? Well, what do you I think mean, it's going back to the days of keeping women barefoot pregnant in the kitchen. I can think of a lot of things, but he said, you said domestic violence towards his wife. Ba, 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 what else could ba, it be? A wife being, towards his a wife. A bondage being reference? barefoot is one thing. Giving a woman the back of your hand and dragging her by her hair is a complete Did I not hear you say domestic violence towards his wife? Is that what you said in the open? No. Oh, so I was, maybe I, I apologize. If I said his wife, no, I No, it was worse. It was towards all, all women. women. Right. No, I think you said his wife. I no. did. I should have said all women. I'm sorry. Go ahead. All women. I think she's awesome. <laughs> I think her strategy is brilliant. In order to forget about something absolutely, absolutely ridiculous that she says, she waits a few weeks and then says something even worse. It's, it's, <laughs> and then, you know, it, it, oh, don't it, hold your breath. She will always have this job because they haven't fired her yet. They love her and the Afghan sleeping on her head. All right, very quickly, we've got to move through. <laughs> This. Next up, ESPN blurred the lines with social and racial commentary on the Redskins' name debate.